Good morning and welcome to another Vlogmas episode. My name is Anakin. I design knitting patterns. I teach knitting workshops online and in person. And I sell yarn, which you can find on my website, yarnaddict.co.uk. It is Monday 19th of December. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And um, if you want to sign up to my newsletter, you can find the link to that below. So, um, if you watched my last episode, which I uploaded last night, Sunday evening, um, I was a bit miserable yesterday. It was a, not a good weekend. If you watched last night's episode, you will know that I had a little bit of an accident on Saturday. Basically, my car slid down the hill and crashed into two of my neighbour's cars. And I was thinking about this this morning because one of my neighbours that I slid into is also a friend and also my massage therapist. And I'm seeing her this afternoon. <laughs> And I was thinking about this morning, I don't know what's worse, crashing into strangers' cars or crashing into your neighbours' and your friends' cars. Um, all our neighbours are lovely, and the two neighbours whose cars were affected were really lovely, and I'm really grateful for that, but I feel bad for causing so much hassle for them just before Christmas. Our car doesn't look as badly damaged as their cars, and my friend's car, which was in the middle, the car I hit and that got pushed into another car her car is most damaged it's also the smallest car so I do feel bad about that but anyway I'm feeling better today my back is a lot better because I've had really severe lower back pain over the weekend and every time I put weight on my or put my right leg on the floor it just felt like somebody was stabbing me in the back so that is a bit better um I'm gonna try and walk the dog in a minute it is raining I was hoping it'd be dry because I thought then I could walk around the park and there are quite a few benches there, and I thought if I need to sit down, I can just sit down on the bench. But it is raining, it's horrible. I don't want to go out. Alfie doesn't want to go out, but we're going to go out just for a short walk. Because I think keeping moving is going to be better for my back than resting. Um, so let's do the oven calendar. So um, on the botanical yarns we do, there is a, four rows. So each six window row has a different fade. So we went from um, teal to light blue purple to like lavenderish pale pink uh burgundy to like a blush pink and then now we're starting the final fade and it is a purple and i'm a bit surprised because it's similar if so if i pull out day nine it's very similar isn't it yeah so I'm kind of a little bit surprised. It feels like we kind of started this fade in the middle of the second fade. Um, I wasn't like in the last week's fade, which was burgundy to blush pink. I like the blush pink, but I didn't like the darker shades of that fade. Love this. This is really nice. I like the first fade, the second fade, and this I love. So it'd be interesting to see what colours we get later this week. Um, this is the thing with having colours. I'm actually, I've actually recorded a separate video, which will be probably be up between christmas and new year or maybe first week in january i haven't decided yet um on how you choose an advent calendar some of the things to look out for and will you knit with it and the thing is if there are colors you don't like in the advent calendar you don't have to knit with them any colors i don't like in this advent calendar i can always throw this into my scrappy crochet um, blanket so orchidian luxury yarns yesterday was that colorway um today i did actually already film this and then i wasn't happy with it so this is the second time I'm filming this um so I just had to get the stitch mark right because I'd put that in the little glass pot that I put them in to keep them safe so that is the day stitch mark here that's really pretty love that um different from different um stone or bead or whatever it is from the days we've had before so like I said that was yesterday's color kind of matches my nails um this one matches my nails even more look at that love that color white that's just perfect love it so i assume now we're going into a purple section we've had pink uh coral yellow green blue purple so i don't know whether we're going to stay purple for the rest of this other calendar whether we will end with something else i don't know but i'm quite excited so let me just pop these back in their little um, oven calendars um, today. So my plans for this week, because my parents were actually due to arrive from Norway on Wednesday. So we were going to drive up to Heathrow to pick them up on Wednesday. Um, it is a long drive from south of England, from Cornwall. 
um last time they came over at they came over i think it was like the day after boxing day four or five must be five years ago i think and they got the it was the first time they hadn't hired a car so they got the coach down from heathrow because there's always a bit of chaos on the trains immediately after the christmas weekend because they tend to do uh, engineering work over christmas and sometimes they won't be finished on time and we had a problem with vanessa one year she was coming down i think it was the day after boxing day or maybe two days after boxing days boxing day and she got into london got to paddington to get the train to bristol where, no she got the train to cornwall she was living in bristol at the time but she was coming all the way back to cornwall and there were no trains they hadn't finished the engineering work and there were no trains running at all um from paddington so she had to get across to waterloo or something i think and she sent she rang us and um she sent us pictures and it was just a sea of people and she managed to get on the train in the end but she was basically just told to get on any train to um reading and then to try and get a train from there but they couldn't tell her when she would get a train from there it was just chaos so when my parents came last time uh around christmas time we thought it's better if they just get the coach because that stops right outside Heathrow and they can just get on it and stay on it till they get to our town. Um, but it was bad traffic and it took something like two or three hours longer than it was supposed to. So it was like, I think it's normally like five, five and a half hours. I think it was like seven or eight hours. It was just horrendous. So they didn't want to do that, obviously. So we were going to go and pick them up. But they are now not coming, which I'm a bit sad about. But I understand their reasons for not coming. And it does mean that I get to go to Norway in January. I hadn't planned to work today. I'd only planned to do a tiny bit of work then tomorrow, like maybe an hour. But I need to finish writing this pattern for a cardigan I've just finished. I'm gonna, I was just going to show you a sneak peek. Um, So I'm going to walk the dog now. And then I'm going to come back and write, finish writing that pattern. And then uh, take it to the post office and post it. Um and then um hopefully do a lot of knitting this afternoon um got a massage this afternoon um don't think i'll film anything when i walk out there today because it's raining the big freeze is over and we've now got the big wet spell it's really bad out there so um i'm gonna get on with my day and we'll see how much we film tomorrow i'm going to plymouth so i'm thinking if i don't film too much today i will try and film a bit from plymouth i failed last week when i went to plymouth to film very much uh, but hopefully i'll have a bit more tomorrow but i don't know what will be in this vlog you will see um what's up next i have no idea what that will be so thank you for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and now i will go and find my dog and drag him outside because he's going to hate this weather as much as i do
good morning it is the what's it today 21st yes 21st of december so i'm going to tag this on to the vlog um to the vlogmas episode for the last two days because on monday i didn't film very much apart from a little kind of introduction chatty bit a little bit of knitting and then yesterday i didn't actually film myself opening the advent calendar i added a photo of it and then i filmed a little bit in plymouth i went to plymouth yesterday afternoon uh, but i didn't film as much as i'd planned to do mainly because i'm still in a huge amount of pain with this back pain from saturday it is getting better um and i actually did better yesterday in plymouth than i thought i would i only went to plymouth because simon um had to go to a work christmas do so i dropped him we'd all rearranged so i would drop him off um and he also wanted me to pick him up and if i'd gone home it would have been like two and a half hours at home then i'd have to drive back again so i thought that was a waste of time so i went and the plan had been to have a look around the shops didn't really do that i went into two shops i think to get some stuff i needed and then I sat in the coffee shop for a bit um, and did a bit of knitting on the sock. Um, I was knitting on a um, opal sock, a rainbow coloured sock. And I really want to finish it because I'm on the second sock and I cannot find it. I mean, this is, if you're a long time viewer, you know that this is not the first time I've lost a sock. I have no idea where it is. I've looked everywhere for it. I'm assuming it's somewhere in my office and my office is still a bit of a mess. I can't find it and it's really frustrating so I had a couple other bags of socks on my desk so I picked up one of those which I cast on I think when we were at Yarndale in September it's crazy sabable which I really like as a yarn but I don't like the colorway I chose but I'm knitting them for Simon so I brought those but I'm really not enjoying the colorway so you see me knitting a bit on those or you have seen me knitting a bit on those in the coffee shop um then my plan was to walk around the Christmas market and try and film some christmas lights but i think most of the christmas market was closed um it's only a few handful of stores really small i think compared to previous years or pre-covid years maybe i don't know um and the christmas lights just weren't that great sorry plymouth but <laughs> not impressed so i walked from there up to a place called um the barcode in plymouth which is like an entertainment venue and I went to Las Iguanas and I had something to eat and I their service was incredibly slow. Food was great, but their service was incredibly slow. So I managed to eke out all the time I needed there. And then I did some knitting there and I had something to eat. And then I went from there straight back to the car and went to pick Simon up. And while I was in Las Iguanas, luckily they had free Wi-Fi. So I was able to catch up on some Vlogmas videos and you will have seen me just film myself. Um, knitting for a bit so i've nearly finished my uh, mobius cow my goal was to finish it by last night um and if i stayed up a little bit longer i stayed up later last night than normal because uh, we're watching a program but i have round and a half left so it's a bit difficult to see what it looks like because of the twist um slightly where there's a little bit on the small side but i think it'll be okay um so i'm going to finish that today so i've got round and a half left in it and then i've got to cast off and then i can finish that today so i don't know what to cast on next i do need to knit a swatch today so i think i'm probably going to do that this evening so i can write the pattern tomorrow for a design that's due in january and then i need to start thinking about some designs that i need for workshops in january and february um, so I need to get cracking on those over the next few days and then I designed and knitted a cow a another Mobius not Mobius cow another brioche cow uh, for a friend for Christmas um, and I took some pictures of it so I have pictures for the pattern but I really like a version of myself because I really liked it so I need to decide what yarn to do for that and I can probably do that if I cast on say on Friday or Saturday I might even be able to have it like knitted up over the Christmas weekend, like Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Um, our Christmas plans have changed quite a lot because my parents are no longer coming, um, which I'm quite relieved about now, to be quite honest. I was disappointed straight away, but I'm quite relieved now because of my back pain. I, it would have been a bit of a struggle, especially as we would be in the car on the way to 
uh, Heathrow Airport in London at the moment and I think that would have been really difficult so um, it's probably for the best and I have just booked flights to go to Norway at the end of January so I'm really excited about that but let's open the calendars and then calendars so I didn't open this yesterday on the um, on camera but I just added a picture of it to the previous clip you saw so that was yesterday's um, Orchidian Luxury Yarn that was the day before so that it was more purple yesterday love that color uh, beautiful color and then the um uh what was the i think the i can't remember which d i think the stitch marker was that one but i'm 100 sure um but it was in the picture i shared so i opened it took a picture of it and then added that to the previous clip so that's Orchidian Luxury Yarns um, for yesterday and then today, 21st, is, oh, we're going, I thought we'd be staying with the purple for a bit, but we're going more towards pink. So it's a little bit, oh, those two are gorgeous together. I do like those. So yeah, we're going towards pink. I wasn't expecting that. So let's just um, see what else is in here. Oh, there's an essential oil sample today. And there is a stitch marker. Oh, that's pretty. So it's a really pretty stitch marker. So I'll pop that in the pop with all the rest of them. And then the essential oil sample today is wild orange, which is gorgeous. Um, oh, I just love wild orange. It's really nice essential oil. Um, really bright, cheerful uh, orange and peppermint or orange and spearmint. I really like um, uh, diffusing those. Um, well, that's the yarn. So that is Orchid in Luxury Yarn. And then um, let's have a look at the uh, botanical yarns. So yesterday was that colorway, um, and today is that colorway. Gosh, it's such a subtle difference, isn't it? Mm, very subtle difference. So that's Advent Calendars done. Um, and I'll update you on my knitting. Um, Simon's gone out to walk the dog because we're taking the day off today to go to uh, Heathrow we decided to keep our days off today so Simon has gone to walk Alfie and when he gets back we're going to go out and do something I don't know exactly what we're going to do I wanted to do something Christmassy but I still can't walk very much I'm still using one crutch when I'm walking because my leg will suddenly kind of give way slightly um, and I find walking with a crutch a lot better um, it just gives me a bit more balance and I can walk better with a crutch. So I'm sure physios would say, don't use a crutch. But I do feel um, safer walking with a crutch at the moment and I get less pain. So I'm going to add this to the what I've already edited for the last two days. And then whatever we do for the rest of the day, if I film many of it, which I'm hoping to do, depending on what we decide to do, um, I will, that will be in the next episode of Vlogmas. So only a few days left now of Vlogmas. Um, I'll tell you a bit more about our Christmas plans in the next episode because I need to make some phone calls first. We're planning a quite a different Christmas day from usual. Uh, but I'll talk more about that in the next episode probably. Th thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Um, in January, we'll be back to normal service with uh, podcast episodes and tutorials and knit and chat videos and things like that so if you have any topics you'd like me to cover especially tutorials do leave them below i have filmed some stuff i think already that's coming for january but i want to try and um first couple of weeks in january film quite a lot for like january and february so that i well i can't film the podcast episode that far ahead obviously for tutorials so the plan is from january to get back to videos every thursday and every other Tuesday. So that is my goal for 2023. Maybe it's the 2024, 2023. Um, okay, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next Vlogmas episode. Have a lovely day.